There's nothing like a good frozen yogurt at a trade show. <laughs> Melissa, what is the Frobot? It is a robot that makes ice cream to order in 15 square feet. We essentially take a 1,500 square foot ice cream store, shrink it down to 15 square feet. Anyone can get into this business. And it is very cost effective as an owner to run one of these things, right? Yes, you don't have the overhead costs of rent, labor. Uh, you can manage this from your phone, which is incredible. You can know when it's out, when it's low, uh, how many cups do you have, all that information on your phone. You could be anywhere, see how many sales you're getting. You can't really do that with a store, can you? No, you can't. Now, the flavors themselves, right now you're showing two flavors, and I'd imagine that that can be kind of dynamic in terms of what flavors you're offering. Yes, we have rotating eight flavors. Um, but the flavors are so good, as you would know since you just tasted it, that you really don't need anything else. So sometimes less is more. Well, I could see some interesting promotional things too, where you actually text your uh, the people who like yogurt, hey, today's flavor of the day is. We know when we're low, so we can change the price accordingly, which is fantastic. You're getting ready to clean your unit, drop the prices, get all that product out, and. Now, what is the typical refresh rate on this? How often do you have to go out, re-clean it, add new flavors, etc.? Um, well, in terms of restocking, uh, that's a good problem to have. So hopefully at least once a day. In terms of cleaning, we have a self-cleaning option. So that would be every 14 days you would have to stop by and do a deep clean, which is unheard of for a business to only have to come by every two weeks. Now you've got a, a service option as well, or that's part of it, where uh, it, you basically do all the communications via some kind of broadband network to this device, right? Exactly, exactly. The app tells you everything. You know what's going on, and you could control what the machine does. You could even serve people when you're 50 miles away, issue a refund, uh, tell one of your employees, hey, I need you to run over and restock because we're just we're doing so well. And where do you see this going? Do you see it going in existing restaurants or in airports? Where? Um, really anywhere that has the foot traffic. So it could be a mall, it could be an existing restaurant, um, it could even be outside at the boardwalk, something like that, where there are enough people to make it worthwhile. And is it a power hog? Are you going to require special powering or anything? Uh, it does require two 220s, but very easy thing to install. You guys are a startup company, but you have some uh, established folks with you. Yes, we work with Taylor Company, which is a subsidiary of United Technologies, and they have 80% market share in the ice cream frozen yogurt business, and they're there with us to help service these units. So these can literally go anywhere, and you'll have someone who can assist you. Melissa, I appreciate your time, and uh, thanks for the yeah. yogurt. That's yes. very tasty. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you.